always think a little differently. Don't think by convention all the time. And it's easy going the road made by others. You know, you make your own road. And that's what uh, I think I call it as innovation. I think innovation is doing things a little different from others. I'm uh, Dr. Sandra Gruitt, working as, a, uh, as an eye surgeon and uh, the director of the Ganga Institute of Ophthalmology. I was, I was uh, born in a place uh, very remote uh, at the foothills of Kanchenjunga called Olang Chingola. I had, a, uh, I had a younger sister who was very close to me and uh, um, during the process of her also you know, studying in Kathmandu, she developed tuberculosis and uh, uh, after about two years, uh, tuberculosis became refractive or uh, resistant to drugs and uh, uh, on the third year uh, she died. Uh, you know, just uh, near me, and uh, uh, I get a kick in my head. You know, maybe uh, this is what uh, uh, my future probably uh, takes me to. And I thought uh, uh, I will uh, get into uh, medicine, uh, where I can uh, grow up and, uh, and treat many other people uh, who cannot suffer like this. Then I started thinking about. Uh, and, uh, you know, I met wonderful people in, on the process and I met uh, very early on in 1985 uh, a friend and later on who became a mentor uh, for nearly seven years, Fred Hollows. And uh, we had a common ambition of, of uh, making sure we can take this type of surgery to such areas in like Nepal. And, uh, and how could we do that, you know? And we always used to say that Though the fingers of the hand are different sizes, how can we make them of the same size? How can we create a world with no, ge no geographical boundaries, you know? How can we bring the people, uh, the marginalized people, come to the uh, process where they can of have this service? So uh, we looked into the economics of manufacturing lenses, and we looked into the economics of providing the services, and looked into issues of cost recovery, pricing tier, you know? and uh, pricing tier in a way, uh, providing, uh, uh, providing it at very low cost or even no cost for patients who cannot pay and substantial cost for people who can pay. So the paying patients will subsidize for the, pay, you know, for the poorer patients. At Tilganga was established during the darkest hours of Nepal's political history, you know, conflict time. And uh, we had much difficulty uh, in uh, uh, getting on uh, with the system. And, uh, uh, and then uh, to bring our uh, colleagues in line to accept the concept that the poorest people need the best eye care. And this is very difficult to sell. And people always say that it's very complicated, it's very expensive. But it can be made simple, it can be made less expensive without compromising the quality. I think this is the whole essence of social entrepreneurship, you know, and that's what uh, uh, we have, I think, done. Yeah. I feel uh, uh, extremely, extremely privileged uh, in getting this um, Show Up Entrepreneurship Award for 2014 uh, from uh, you know given by the SOAP Foundation uh, I think several reasons is uh, one is uh, Nepal uh, is one of the uh, low lowest economic uh, you know countries in the low economy uh, uh, segment and second we are going through a difficult political transition and uh, uh, I think it gives us such a wonderful uh, uh, platform for us to make our voice heard in the uh, most resourceful people's platform. And uh, uh, I really feel uh, uh, that I can make that uh, uh, my, uh, opportunity very well. You know, don't get discouraged by uh, having no electricity, no water. Uh, I think this, in fact, uh, makes you harder. That's how I grew up. I grew up and uh, I can claim uh, I have done so well because I grew up so difficult. 
So it's always nice to grow up very difficult. But willpower, focus and your commitment. The work that we have done so far and uh, people have put me in the forefront but uh, I have a wonderful team. I think without teamwork uh, you cannot do things and uh, leadership is all about putting yourself in an open class and taking your team along with you. So it's very important that you have a good team.